Three teams will fight for three days and they will put more than 200 perch fishing hours behind them. And they will try to catch as most and big perch as they possibly can. They have a number of 717 perch. You're probably the guy that has the most knowledge here when it comes to sonar and sonar technology. I want to win this so bad, but it's, it's hard. How much do you think that will actually help your team? This is the sand. No, it's a perch. Helvete! Fuck, fuck, fuck again! And uh, I have some bikes here too. Uh, we will have fog. This is action fishing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Watch the motor! Watch the motor! Hello everyone and welcome to the very first round of the perch fishing competition called Perch Pro on Canal Gratis. Behind me we have three very dedicated team who is going to fish for three days with Sweden as battlefield and they will try to catch as most and big perch as they possibly can. Now we will take a few minutes to meet the contestants before we roll out. And we're starting with CVC fishing team, Stefan Trumstedt, who we've seen before in Strike Pro TV and all the Strike Pro context on Canal Gratis, fishing together with Albin Shargi. Did you warm up? Uh, I did, didn't sleep, but no sleep. That's your warm up. No, I mean the, we we had some we had some warm up, perhaps, perhaps. Maybe you did with some warm up. All right. In this contest, you're allowed to fish drop shot and spin. What's your favorite? Should I tell? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, secret. I think it's spinning. Spinning is your favorite. What about Stefan? Yeah, spinning. So uh, <clears throat> today is quite cold. It's about uh, seven, six degrees Celsius. Temperature will rise. Uh, high pressure coming up, at least at this part of Sweden. What do you think of that? What do you make of the weather, Albin? I think we could have a slow start, but the weather should be the same during these three days. So I think it could be getting better and better during the competition. So maybe a slow start, but I think we'll get there. Maybe tomorrow or the day after that might be really good. And we're used to see you with big sanders, carps and pikes. What about perch? What's your biggest perch? Um, that's nothing to, to brag about. 1.35 is my biggest. I haven't done that much perch fishing, but I know how to fish soft bits, so. Yeah, and 1.35 kilo, that's a nice fish. And what about Stefan? Biggest perch? I know you had a few in your life. Yeah, the biggest I have caught in Sweden, and anyway, it's uh, 2.250. That's a very, very big perch. Was it a long time ago? No, nah, it's, it's, I think it's 10 years ago. So, we're moving on. We got some new faces to Canal Gratis. This is Stockholm Fiske, and we got Tom and Stefan. You guys know each other from Tom has the local fishing store? Yeah. yeah. And Stefan, you're actually a client. Yeah, I am. How long have you been fishing together? Uh, maybe for two years now, or something two like years. that. Yeah. And perch fishing is one of your favorites? Absolutely. So if you choose style between spin and drop shot, what's your favorite? Uh, drop shot. Drop shot fishing. Did you warm up properly? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Did you catch a lot of fish on your warm up? <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> So these guys are going to have very little contact throughout the days. There will be three points of report, starting with two reports on the first day and one report on the second day before everything goes dark. I have to ask you two, biggest perch so far in your life? 2.4. 2.4 kilo. What, what method? Uh, I took that on spin, actually. That's a fantastic fish. Uh, 1.7. 1.7. Recent fish or was it back in the days? 
two years ago. Okay, that's that's quite recent. That's good. That's good. We're moving on to our final team. We got three teams in the competition, and this is Comstat Act with Matthias Holgersson and Henrik Kallén. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Matthias Holgersson, we've all seen before. He did two episodes with me when we did a TV show, Fina Fisken. We actually fished perch in one of those episodes. You remember that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it wasn't very good. <laughs> we didn't catch the really big ones, but we have some fun. Yeah. We had a nice day on the lake and we actually we, we caught a lot of perch. Matthias has just come back from an international fishing contest where he caught the biggest pike, I think, the longest pike in the contest. Uh, yeah, I was winning one day for the longest pike, but the second longest in the competition, yeah. That's great. Yeah. You also did some perch fishing over there? Yeah, of course, and they have some really huge ones, really huge ones. So what's the biggest perch you caught there? Uh, 2440, yeah. on a big spinnerbait, but uh, really cool. Yeah. So 2.4 kilo perch caught very recently. But outside of Sweden, right? Yeah, outside of Sweden. Right, you can't go get that one now, can you? <laughs> All right, that's great. So that 2.440 is such a personal best? Yeah, for sure. What about your friend here, Henrik? Uh, 1.66. I caught it uh, four years ago. And um, yeah. yeah. That's very good. I know you work with Hummingbird Electronics. You're probably the guy that has the most knowledge here when it comes to sonar and sonar technology. How much do you think that will actually help your team with all that, you know, all that knowledge? Is it going to make a big difference for you? It's a help to find the fish and uh, see what side of the boat the fish are in. What's it called, the technique? Side image. The side imaging. So you have that on your boat and you can, you can monitor the sides as well, not, 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 not only underneath the boat. So that's good for searching fish if they're hard, hard to find. Yes. Might do some difference for you. We'll see when we roll out. All right, we heard all the tactics and all the teams are ready to go. Three teams will fight for three days and they will put more than 200 perch fishing hours behind them. This is Perch Pro. It's gonna be fun, really fun. And I, I, I could see that uh, some of the guys there from the other teams, they were quite focused and, and uh, a little bit scared, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was always I was thinking, you know, maybe I should be a good salesman because Tom and Matthias, they are my customers. So maybe I should let them win. No, I don't think so. I don't think I don't so. Think so. <laughs> we are not a quitter. No, we're not the quitters. So now Henrik is out peeing because he's really nervous for this. No, it will be fun. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. Go, 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 go. go. I think they're heading to Cebu, Lake Cebu. But I think they're going to drive for at least, uh, the sea team CBC will drive for maybe one hour, I think. Yep, they're heading to Lake Cebu, I'm 100% sure. We're heading to Lake Malayan to fish on our home waters. Yeah, we're planning to go on uh, to get as many fish as possible first. And then in the evening catch the big ones when they start to feed. It seems like they're in a hurry. <laughs> and I think they're heading for a lake run up in uh, Falun. I think Stockholm Fiske is behind us. Yeah? yeah. They will probably go in somewhere. Close. Our plan is to uh, go a little bit up north, uh, so we have quite some driving. So today when we're starting at 5 in Stockholm, we have 3-4 hours driving, maybe 5. Uh, we will see how traffic is, and uh, so it means that we maybe only have 8 hours fishing today. And uh, hopefully the, the, the big perch is not feeding now in the morning, so they're feeding a little bit in the afternoon. And uh, I think this 
cold night in in uh, in north of Sweden. We have uh, maybe four degrees a night. Uh, that can be slowing off the fishing a little bit, and uh, in the afternoon coming a little bit higher temperature. We have clear skies. What do you think, Henrik? It should be good with the uh, weather. Yeah. The score table works the same as in Fly vs Jerk. Team will score one point every day for catching the biggest fish and team will score also one point every day if they catch the most fish. If two teams have the same score, they will score one point each. If the team should end up in the final day with the same amount of score, it will lead down to who has got the biggest fish throughout the tournament. And as the competition nerve starts to kick in, things get confusing when it comes to easy stuff as finding the right way. Vad fan ska vi inte ner här eller? Sönsa Stockholm. Det är det vi ska upp här. Vad är du någonstans? Ja men nu kör du ju genom stan. Det här är ju livs... Det här... Nu kör du ju helt åt hållet. You're tired. You're getting tired of me already. Ja, jag kan ju säga att du åker ju helt åt hållet. Ja, det är bara för att den inte är uppdaterat att de har byggt om det här. Det är därför. Det är bara Thank därför. You, Now we're coming out to the north. Well, we were supposed to go to the south, but my GPS is it's not working. They rebuilt it. We're rebuilding the roads, and it wasn't updated. So now we're going the wrong way. Good start. Really good start for us. Golden seagull. Here we come. The other one is stressed as hell now. <laughs> we get some breath. Ready? Yep. Let's hit him. Oj, helvete trumma, vad händer? Nu har han kört. <laughs> now, now he's lost. He's in a, it's, it's a small neighbor. Should we turn around here? Maybe I should. Yeah. It always happens strange things. When the camera is on and when there's a competition. Yeah. I, you should say, I hate when this happens. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to head. For the secret waters of Sweden. Stockholm Fisco Fritid is the first team to actually hit the water. They will have the most fishing hours today. But they also need to get the boat in the water. You need some help. Stuck. Yeah, stuck. Again, the competition nerves kicks in. I'm gonna do a ninja jump. Yeah. I was born ninja. <laughs> nice. Nice and easy. The easiest task for these professionals suddenly becomes very, very hard. Stand in the back. <laughs> I don't get it. Stubborn. The clock is now 20 minutes before 7. Uh, our GPS said that we will arrive uh, 20 minutes past 8 right now and uh, we will take some food. Yeah, maybe we can have uh, the boat in the water at 9. But first some food. Hey, your boat looks great. I think they are thinking, oh, what are this, that handsome guys doing right now? And maybe they catch some big fish right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. For uh, McToast. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I take uh, two McNuffin. Uh, one coffee to me. And oh, oh. Woohoo! Let's hit the road. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the last civilization. <laughs> <laughs> then we're out in the woods. Before the battle. Take a leak and uh, buy some snooze. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now we're ready. Yeah. I think we should start to get the numbers, and then when we feel that we have quite quite many, then we we go for the big ones. For the big ones, exactly. And that's and, the uh, best plan. Yeah. And also for us, it's it's quite good because. 
we might also have a chance to catch a big one in those those big schools of, of fish that we yeah, yeah. we will target. We, there are some big ones. I think the the Stockholm's fisk are going. They are going. They're staying nearby. Yeah, and I think they go to the their, their home waters yeah. actually. So they're gonna be in the big lake Mälaren or some some smaller lake just beside Mälaren yep. in that area. That's what I think. Yeah. Anyway. And uh, comes that act, they will go north to Matthias' home waters. Yeah. And those are the guys that I think have a really good chance of catching a big one. Yeah. Yeah, it will be really cool to see what kind of numbers it is demands to go in the top place. Uh, if it's 50 or if it's 100 or if it's 200. I, I think it. Uh, we must uh, catch over 100 to yeah, get a chance to, uh, for a number. Yeah. But let's say the most important thing is have fun. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure, if we don't win, I will cry. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic morning. We have a little wind on the surface. They don't make them too shy. The sun is up, the sunglasses are on. Let's hit it. Our plan is to take good time on us before we start the fish so we can uh, locate the fish before we begin. And we only have 12 hours fishing times a day, so make a real good research for before we start the fish. Here you have some. Looks like it's good activity here. Yeah, let's yeah, let's hit it. I'm going for the small ones, numbers. I'm uh, using this uh, Fox micro fry. I'm using the same rig as uh, Stefan over there because this has worked really well when we have uh, been out trying to get big numbers, a perch, and uh, with this kind of small size jig, you will get everything from very very small perches up to big ones. And as we say in Swedish, skitfiske. Skitfiske. There is something down there. Oh! Missed it? Fang this. <laughs> you have one? Oh, lovely. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Perfect competition fish. Because this faster fish, these small guys. Whoops. I'm clicking my first. I'm clicking my first. There we have a little better one. Number two. You see the bite really good. The small bait. Number two. There we go. Very small. But it's a fish. You never get tired of the bites of perches. You just slam the bait. Over and over and over and over, even though they're small. This is a perfect game fish. We don't want them to be bigger yet. Because we'll be hitting for the big ones later on tonight. So Stockholm Free Tid is going for number. They're fishing for extremely small perch and they will try to get the number point in this competition on the first day. CVC fishing team with Albin Shargi and Stefan Trumstedt are tackling up and getting ready to hit the lake just a couple of hours after Stockholm Fiske and Friti. Shall we uh, start outside the bay? Just outside. Yeah, I think we, we start first, there. Yeah, first spot. This is a, a lake that is connected to the sea, so when the sea level is high, the brackish water comes in. The water gets a bit more clear. Normally it's very mu muddy, but it's like mid-clear mid right now, so um, it seems to, be, seems to be a good place to be right now. I think it's just cold. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the sound. Yeah, but now we should fish. Yeah, now we're gonna Come fish. Come on! Yeah, the guys, they maybe had 100 perch already. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic fishes, these small perches, they're so beautiful. Now back again to Stockholm Fiske och Fritid. They are still catching them by the numbers. It's on every cast now. Oh! <laughs> Not often I get sad over those small fishes, but in my competition, a fish is a fish. Look after, do you see how many, you see oh. the one hit, hit for the weight, the other one, his friend. The, the perches are 
absolutely fantastic hunters and they chase together and they're very envy of each other because if one find anything to eat the other one wants it too. 46. Now we don't have time to write, we have to fish. So we're pretty close now to uh, the coffee and uh, shit pals. Uh, we will dump some kilos and uh, take some kilos in. No. <laughs> Should I uh, turn uh, oh, left here? Turn left here. Yeah. So this is my house. As you see here, coming Vilma, Vilma Platz. Vilma. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is to work. Ja, det gör de. Jo. Jag ska bara skita. Yep. First one. Oh, came off. Yep, no. Yep. No. Oh. They're not biting that hard, they're just nibbling. Often when you fish small baits, you get big fish, so you don't need to target for them. Because when you fish large baits, you often lose a lot of fish. So I hope the other teams are <laughs> chasing for the big ones. Yep. No. Yep. Fish. Oh, oh. I missed it. Yep, came off for me too. Uh, they don't seem to be biting. The hook is sharp. I think I will try lighter, a lighter jig head. I think actually Truman and Albin, they are, they are catching fish. Uh, I think they have been catching oh, 10, 15 fish already. Yeah, or, I think. Yeah, Stockholm fish, fisk uh, probably also the same. They have been having, let's say we was going from Stockholm at around six. Uh, they have one hour driving, put in the boat. The clock is now almost nine. Uh, so, right? Yeah. So they have probably one hour of fishing or more. And uh, if the perches are hunting, then probably they have some. Damn it. Yes! So CVC fishing team Good is finally work. finding fish <laughs> and are working on the numbers. It has been a tricky morning for them as they have no wind at the moment. Fish all up. Oh, oh, it. oh, it came off. But what about Act Komstad? Where are they? They are not still on the water. They have chosen to go to Dalarna. That's far away, which means that they lose a lot of time by traveling. Uh, we must really hope that it will pay off once they hit the water. I can't believe how many we have missed. Yeah. Bites all the time. They're a bit slow. Cold night, so only six and a half, seven and a half degrees. They're here, but they're not really. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I should stop talking. Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> also, this one took the bit really deep. Finally, they hit the water. Comes that act with their super equipped boat with super gear is gonna take them to a super place to catch super perch. At least that's the plan. What we'll fish with now is some modern technique for perch. Um, first of all, we'll do some uh, Texas rigging, um, see if they want some a uh, little bit more action. We will uh, do some finesse. Uh, finesse means we're using light heads, really small minnows, um, and then probably maybe do some drop shots as well. But first of all, we're uh, uh, going to try the Texas. Uh, the rod we're using is specially made for Texas in, and jigging. Uh, pretty stiff ones, tip action, and a lot of power, and really, really important. A lot, a lot of feeling. You want to feel small touch of the lure and you have to set the hooks and um, hopefully it's coming up some okay fish. I have uh, seen a nice fish on a sonar. Uh, they are uh, stand on the bottom. Maybe we should uh, try here, Matthias. Yeah, then 
we do it. They're in the, in the area. Clock is 0934. So I'm using a Texas rig, rigging with a 17 gram of lead, uh, glass pearl, uh, 04 wide gap hook, and this is a, a Norris spoon tail shad. Uh, rigging this one from the nose, through, down, to the front. Measuring where the hook should be. Taking it up. Now ready for fish. Yeah, big. Yeah, big. Better fish. It's a fish? First fish in boat. I do my first click for my first. First fish. Great. We're into very small fishes now. As you see, there's fish almost on every cast here. Come on, perchy, perchy. I think uh, the other teams are gonna have a real tough time to catch up on our numbers, I hope, because it's actually quite good fishing now. It's so fun fishing when they're biting all the time, the strikes are just... <laughs> it's like a machine gun, that's yeah. the closest thing I can come to. They're just punching and biting all the time. I think Stockholm's fish has already they were they were at their home home spot in, in just an hour. So they have started a long time ago. I think they're if they if they have found the fish then they're way ahead of us. Yeah we'll see. Yep. Ooh nice head shakes. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah. Biggest one yet. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh. So now, now they're they're really biting for me. Now I'm getting them to to strike properly. Seems to be the trick. Come on. Fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to Papa. A fish. Yeah. Normal size. Bye bye. Okay, how many do you got? 35. 35, and I got 26. And that makes 61. A little bit less than the last report. So, Stockholm Fiske och Fritid, they are in the lead. And Comstedt Act just hammered in their first fish. We're quite sure right now that they will not hit the number point for the day, but they are the top favorite for the biggest fish. What the fuck? Small ones. Really small. Tablar! End up the boat then. I'll reel up a little bit, make it sink a little bit longer time. Do our jig. Fish on! Is it off or oh no, it lost. Ooh. I'm fishing, yeah I'm fishing. High up. Fishing till the sun goes it's frustrating down. when they're only nibbling in the end of your lure, even yeah, they are biting hard. See them so they're taking the tail. Oh, yeah. that fish. Nice, Find Hendrik. Uh, yeah, but I think you should go slowly and see the structure. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. it should be just just by the point. Or? Yeah, it should be just around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Second cast on the new spot. We get a fish. Yeah. Nice sander this one. Uh, hard fighters this time of year. Male. <laughs> Male fish. If you want to watch me catch Sander for real, not just as a bonus, you should watch the pelagic sharpshooting videos on uh, Canal Gratis. There's the, the real action for the big Sander. Oh, they are there. Uh, not that big, but nice one. Perfect. Yeah. Woo Woo. Good Abbe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven hundred and ninety-four grams. Congratulations, Albin. Close to eight hundred gram. That's a beautiful fish. But will it be enough 
to win the big fish point of the first day. In a minute, at the lunch report, we will see. Right now, the teams are fishing in the dark. The number so far is 9 plus 5? Five? 5, so 14 fish in the boat. But we're still pretty confident about the place. We know just a matter of time we catch a little bit bigger fish than the biggest now, 350. I think we made the right decision to go on numbers first. Starting to get a little more cloudy and when it gets get more cloudy the bigger fish starts to eat. So hopefully we can catch a nice one soon. Ready? Yeah. Great! Ah, nice! A little bit bigger fish. Take on the Texas. Mm, yeah, should we estimate it? 650 around? Yeah, I think so. Great. And the numbers I don't think at all, but 650 can be pretty, pre, ah, pretty okay, I think. Maybe. Yeah, we take, but look now, we, Henrik will get his mojo in the rod down to the fish and <whistles> catch a big one. But and we have to get the numbers up. We have to get them to, to bite. We have, we've missed at least 100 fish, yeah. 100 bites. <laughs> and you know, I'm getting older and I'm not so fast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's a boat on, on one of our spots. Actually, it's a spot that we planning to take lots of numbers. We don't want to disturb them just for the moment. Oh, fish. <laughs> the guys moved, so we, we moved into the <coughs> golden position. <laughs> and the fish is really biting. It's only five minutes left for, for the report, first report. And uh, we have found a spot with lots of fish. And I think after the report, we, we shall go for a little bit bigger baits for, for bigger perch. Maybe one of us will take a big bait. The other one will continue with the, the smaller baits for the numbers and big baits, bigger fish. Five minutes, <coughs> five minutes. All right, so it's time for the lunch report. This time team will report number and top fish and they will find out how the other teams are doing. Uh, I think uh, we got the uh, most fish. Yeah. And, uh, Me too. Maybe team uh, CVC has the largest fish so far. If they're in uh, Lake Seabus, I think they are. Maybe uh, they had a bigger chance of getting a large fish at daytime. So it's soon 12 o'clock and it's time for the first report and see how the other team has been doing. Yeah, uh, I think both uh, team CVC and Stockholm. Uh, Fiske has uh, caught uh, more fish mm. and even bigger, but uh, I think I, so also, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, call and uh, see what's happened. Yes. Yeah. Hello, this is Albin Charge Calling, CVC Fishing Team. Hi, Albin. Uh, numbers are 71 fish. Top fish is 0 0.79. Yeah. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Perfect. And uh, this is Henrik Kalin from team uh, Ham uh, Komstedt Act. And uh, we get um, of number 19. And yep. uh, a top fish of uh, 0 0.65 kilo. Yep. Yep, yep. Hello, this is uh, Tom from Stockholm Fiske. Uh, we got uh, 316 in numbers and uh, 200 uh, kilogram as a top fish. No, no, 0 0.20 as top fish. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Bye no. bye. Bye, 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 bye everyone. Bye, <laughs> bye. bye. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're in the lead, big time. That 
sounds a little bit crazy. How many had they done? I think I heard 350 fish. Yes, me too. But uh, I think he is uh, joking, but not. 350 fish until now. Yeah. Only small fishes. Yeah. Oh. It's a lot. That's a lot. Then we, we know go we for the big, big ones. ones. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 350. Oh. Three. Oh. But they don't have a big one. That's great. And uh, Albin and uh, Turman. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it was uh, 0 0.17. No. Oh. Okay, 0 0.7, yeah. But uh, we will take a. Yeah, for out. sure. Shake and bake, baby. Okay. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. I'm listening up. So, uh, Comstet, they have 90 fish. Yeah. Top fish 0 0.65. Okay. Stockholm? Yeah. Stockholm Fishing, they have 316 fish. Yeah. Top fish is 0 0.2 kilograms. Okay. That means that we have the, we have the biggest fish. We have the biggest fish. Uh, numbers, we, we can't even get close, no. I think, today. No. Uh, we have the biggest fish. Then, so, uh, then we go for the big ones. We'll because the big ones. Yep. if they have... 360. We don't have it. Yeah, but then they had drop shotting, lots of small perch. So, uh, yeah, but this is interesting yeah, because really interesting. then they have quite hard to catch the big ones yep. also. So, I think, um, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a competition now. It's a really good competition. Yeah. We I think we, we need a fish around 1.2, 1.3, then, then maybe we have one point today. Yep. If we go up to 500, yeah. and then it's, it's just size. Just upsize everything and we'll catch them easily. Ah. Lovely. Ah, I feel so much better now. The problem is right now that everybody will fish for the big perch. Yeah. And another... Uh, issue yeah. would be if they uh, change to another place yeah. with a big yeah, perch. big fish perch spot yeah and now they see that we are not close to them um, Stefan Turmstedt and CVC team they were not close to them uh, they have a little bit bigger fish but not 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 big at all we keep on working but now we know what the goal is big ones Yes, no numbers, only big ones. Ladies and gentlemen, we are halfway through the first day and teams are fishing perch as hell. What a staggering numbers. And now the teams know that it's gonna be real tricky to nail that very, very valuable number point. And if the guys are smart now, they should really go for big perch. Albin Sharge holds the Point for biggest fish. Comstat Act, who were last man on the water, are falling behind. It's not very surprising. Strategies from now on will be super exciting to see. And stay with us, subscribe, and don't miss the next episode of Perch Pro. I think Stockholm Fisk and Fritid has a clicking thumb. Fishing and barbecue at the same time. Yep. A perch! I think this is a really big perch. A really big perch. Trying to catch a really big perch here. That could be the fish that changed the game. Oh, lovely. Uh. <laughs> <Comes>. <laughs> we break oh. 1,000 mark.